Hello, hello. It is Friday here today, and it is kind of wild how they uh, canceled Guild War on Wednesday. I'm not sure uh, why they did that, uh, but we are back again, and today we are against Economy again. Uh, they actually, uh, these guys just beat uh, Parabellum, uh, who is a guild again, which is, wait, uh, where is it? Uh, 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 yes. So, uh, they, they, they just beat Parabellum, which is interesting. Obviously, it's not the uh, same as the old Hall of Fame Parabellum, but, uh, you know, they must be fairly strong in their own right, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm just starting off with a, a Tower Scout here. Uh, now, uh, what we have here is a Lionheart Sermia, who is actually a lot stronger than the Fire Sermia. I, I don't know why I feel the need to mention that, but uh, it is worth noting. Uh, now, uh, I feel like you can also... Uh, mm -hmm. I was going to say you can probably injury SSB, but I don't particularly like it into the shoe, because if the shoe gets on the SSB, uh, you just kind of melt. Uh, you could also probably Alencia this, but again, you don't really have a cleanse. Uh, so you can get provoked by the Bellion and then like follow up blinded. Like, I suppose you could bring Hand Guy, but I, I don't like bringing Hand Guy to tank a shoe as well, so there's a lot of issues. Issues. <laughs> so I'll just go with the a trusty old Lionheart who has never failed me, uh, unlike other... Sir, wait a minute. When has other Sermia failed me ever either? Anyways, uh, this is my Lionheart. I got her on the Draco, because uh, my crit damage is kind of low, because it's crit chance neck and all. Uh, so... Uh, the Draco is pretty good damage value while also giving damage reduction. A proof might be safer, but like uh, the shoe, like between belly and AoEing every turn and shoe uh, potentially hitting you, it gets worn down to the 15% damage reduction fairly quickly. So having like a 10% damage increase uh, is probably better. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty standard just Lionheart AoEs and kills them. You want to focus the shoe first because if it comes down to a 1v1 with the shoe, it can get kind of annoying to kill her, even though it's probably safe. But then I've got just uh, Rowana on Celestine for the single target healing. And Pylos on Arius so that uh, it's more likely that the shoe targets her on her turns. Like, I'm not really worried about Pylos tanking a shoe uh, without a damage reduction artifact. Hopefully I don't eat those herbs. And then for round two, uh, I'm Christy Arying this. Like, I, the, I, I know if I run the Kwazu comp, like, the one time I run it or something is just gonna. Okay, I guess it wouldn't be the one time at this point because I've run it before. But uh, it's gonna happen where uh, I, I just get. The, 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 it's just trapped to beat it, right? So uh, I, I'd rather just ER uh, check them than speed tuning check. I feel like I said that the last time. Uh, anyways, uh, my Christie is on Arius, you know, for damage ring. It's very bulky, but I guess the ER is a little bit lacking. Uh, it, it can get improved, but I mean, you know, uh, it, it's kind of hard to improve at the same time because rolling ER is a challenge. I guess it'd just be the helmet. Like, if I can get like eight more ER on the helmet and look a lot nicer. Wait, can I? Hold up. I feel like I have heart. I guess not on resist set is my problem. Like, I definitely have higher ER helmets, like... <laughs> it breaks the set and get, only loses one ER. Oh, I do, but they're not on, like, uh, bulk stats. Like, I lose 200 defense for 10 ER, which doesn't feel very worth to me. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is getting sidetracked here. Uh, this Christie should be okay. Uh, like, so I've got Bastion on my Arya here. Oh yeah, I don't have Bastion on my Arya. Now I have Bastion on my Arya. Goodbye, gold. Uh, so I, that gives 20 ER to the Christie. And then I have Shimadra here for another 20 ER. Uh, so she is at 300, so it'd have to be over 200 effectiveness on the Rand for her to get death broken, which is the concern with the lower ER. And then Arya is just like uh, high 300s. I don't feel like counting. Uh, it's high ER is all that needs to be said there. Uh, on the Arya. So yeah, I mean, it should win. It's annoying to kill the Senya, and 
Actually, I should probably go Ice Crystal here. I no, she might just still decent healing. But Ice Crystal would be a lot safer for getting into the 1v1 with the Senya because you don't have uh, the Fairy Tail. So killing Senya can be a bit of a chore, but I think with Arius, I'm not too worried about dying to her. Uh, but yeah, anyways, this just plays out like a normal Arya comp does at the very least. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go in here and it should be okay, probably. Okay, I wasn't looking at artifacts at all, so that's cool. Oh, there's no need to press S3 here because all of my stuff is full health. So I guess I try to- I hit the sh- Okay, so it's most likely the shoe counters, right? Because it's probably Elbrus Bellion and then shoe on counter set. So if this can proc Lionheart, that'd be pretty nice. See, all calculated. Uh, it's only a 21k shoe, so that's pretty nice to see. I guess it could be giga crit damage, but you know, still low HP. What? I missed the crit? Impossible. And I get Foosh turn 1, but I mean, that's fine. Oh, and I get Elbrist. Perfect. Well, I guess it's not perfect because I can get provoked here. But I think it's... I should have enough ER unless she rolled effectiveness. I didn't actually see what she rolled. Not effectiveness. Uh, now, one concern with uh, the injury belly in here, I guess, is... The fact that uh, your EHP is lowering for the shoe, so you get closer and closer into kill range. Oh, and then I really don't want to kill Celilies. Uh, but yeah, the counter is nice because I get death buff up again. Uh, I'm gonna put up the barrier actually here. Uh, I think it's the right play. Even though, again, I'm at full health still. But uh, the Bellion's gonna injure me a bit more here. Um, so getting that up is probably better. Oh no, she went on the Lionheart! Okay, that's kinda cringe. Okay. Uh, I guess I get the barrier again. Still going for this shoe though. Pretending like the others exist is uh, doesn't exist rather. Is definitely the right call. Uh, that's kind of annoying though. I think my death. Wait no, never mind. I got it refreshed. I was gonna say I think my death buff gets uh, knocked off by the C Lilias. Wait no, she's S twoing this turn out S three. I mean, but as you can see, this shoe is not doing much damage. I think this and she should die here unless she snow crystals. Alrighty. Well. Uh, now the Bellion just needs to die. Which obviously it'll be very quick because she's going to proc right here. Oh wait, she actually did. Uh, do I even have enough though? I don't think so. Wait, I do. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I mean, this one was... I don't expect this one to lose ever. Round 2, however, is more of a gear check uh, than the than this one. Oh! See? 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> um, well, I guess I'm not out of the... Uh... Trouble yet, because this can do a lot of damage still. But I think I should survive. Uh, yeah. See, it's a good thing I had bulk on my Christie. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure Kawazu loses there. Uh, actually, no. You could have kicked the Rand because it was only 10k health. But uh, he did have the speed tuning to trap. Uh, your boy. Anyway, since I'm on Shimadra. Uh, S3 heals for a lot here. I feel very vindicated right now, is all I have to say.
Anyways, press this button. Oh, I didn't check CR. Uh, but I guess they're all really slow. How much damage does Senya do? Uh, she's very squishy. Which I guess makes sense since she is kind of fast. A nice like, critter. <laughs> Dude, I actually can't believe it. It's just the random tower. Like, there aren't many unscouted towers left here. <laughs> just the random one left. Happened to be a Kawazu trap with that tuning. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, nice try, my guy. I am in the business of ER checking my- or effectiveness checking my opponents. <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, onto another structure here. I don't know what. Okay, I got distracted for a bit there, but I am all set up now for the mid fort because for some reason only four people have hit it so far. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I got hit. My I dead? I'm dead. Uh, anyways, uh, for round one here, uh, I've just got, you know, a standard composition. I've run it like in the past. It's been a while though. Of uh, Zio, Celine, uh, Zio proccing the Senya, which procs the Celine, which kills the Kisei, which then the Senya S3s, S3s procs the Kwazu, Kwazu S3s the Senya. Uh, pretty standard business there. Uh, I don't have the Selene skin, unfortunately, because I have literally zero <laughs> Sky Stones. Uh, I really want the skin, though. Uh, that'd be pretty nice, admittedly. Uh, but it's okay. Normal Selene does slightly less damage, but, I mean, it should still kill a Kisei, no problem. And then round two is kind of, uh, weird in that, uh... Uh, it's got some like speed tuning that I might get fucked by if we're being real here, but I, I mean it should work out regardless, right? So, uh, what we have is Ahmed, who should be faster than their Aiden, but slower than the Winter, which uh, I mean, looking at the CR, it's kind of like a fool's errand to try and do that. To be completely honest with you, but I. I think I have the right speed-ish already without really swapping. Like, I swapped the neck to be a bit faster, uh, so I don't get speed RNG'd by Aiden, but I, I think at this speed I should be okay-ish probably most of the time, every time. And if not, I think it'll work out anyways, probably. Uh, but uh, the idea is, you know, it's standard Ahmed Kisei stuff. Now, in my Kisei, I have a Shepherd because, I mean, Symbol's on Briar because she needs the hit chance, right? But uh, yeah, the gen general idea is Kisei gets pushed up uh, S2-S3 by Ahmed, and then she takes two turns and kills the Karina. Uh, I guess it could be, like, not uh, Kisei here if we're being real. Wait, I just need something to one-shot Winter, don't I? Oh, wait, but if I have another... It's gotta be, like, a water thing, though. Otherwise, I need to put immunity on, and that doesn't sound like fun. Oh, wait, am I about to int to this not spending gold again? Uh... Because I, I could put immunity on Zahak, right? And then that would bait it, and then I could use, like, Watcher Shuri, and then that would work. But, uh, no, 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 this, this works, surely. I, I'm sure my speed tuning is uh, perfect. But yeah, uh, just to click through, I don't know if I clicked on Zio. He's kind of fast, because they're kind of fast. Uh, I think this speed should be fine, probably. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, the Briar is eating the Winter S3 with immunity, so uh, this is part of my not wanting to regear part. Like, I could put it... <sighs> like, it only really goes wrong if my Ahmed outspeeds their uh, Winter, and then the Kisei misses on the Aiden, and then the immunity gets stripped off of the Briar. But I'm sure I can still uh, overcome this. Wait, actually... Hold up. What if I put... Okay, 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 I have I have an idea. So I don't actually need fan on my Ahmed for this. So what if I put King Potion Vial on her? Oh wait, no, that doesn't really solve it though, because I'd be... Wait, would I be dying? Would I get another 
turn. No, potion vial doesn't solve it because I wouldn't be getting another turn before Briar's uh, immortality wears off. Because like I'd just be getting stunned into uh, getting stripped. Wait, no, 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 this doesn't solve it if I do outspeed the winter is what I am saying here. I doubt I'm outspeeding the winter. Wait, am I? Hold up. Let, let, let me just check one more screenshot real quickly here. Uh, I didn't actually check anything specifically, but I'm just going to go in and assume it'll be okay. Probably, maybe. Uh, not maybe. Definitely be okay. Let me just click through stuff one more time, though. Just to be on the safe side. I mean, worst case, I can maybe just kill the Krina with a Kisei S1, and then if like she takes enough damage from the S3. Unfortunately, my Kisei is on Torrent and not Pen. Oh wait, wait, actually, I needed to switch her EE to S2 EE. Right, right. Just for a little bit more damage. Oh yeah, I'm just going in. It'll probably win. <laughs> Did I need the speed? Oh, maybe. Anyways, I go here. And I had the sword storm equipped, so I push up a lot. Oh, nice, I crit the Senya. And then I kill here. Oh, wait, I didn't soul burn. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Plus one. Alright, and then surely Kawazu does enough damage to finish off the Senya. That might be kinda close though. Uh maybe? Did I lose Celine? Ah, nah, nah, nah. I guess she does get 50 CR, but I mean he pushes up himself. Yeah, this round two is getting anxious, you know. I, I, I'm not a fan of uh, follow up cleaving for some reason. I mean, the other comp that people ran was uh, Aria, and then somebody's Aria got stunned by the Winter, which is very shocking. I feel like you could run a. Uh, fiery Angara though, you know, and then uh, give your Arya evasion, so then you can't get S3'd by the Winter. Oh, thank god. <laughs> that looks so close. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait, that was actually so- that was literally speed tied. Anyways, anyways, uh, all of part of my immaculate calculations. Just to interject myself a little bit here. Uh, it didn't matter if I uh, outsped the winter or not, she was on Sword Storm, so uh, the Sword Storm would have pushed her ahead of 100% enough to where she would have cut in between. She would have S3'd before my Kisei had to S2 essentially, because Kisei only gets 100 CR, and then the winter would be at like 120 CR, and then my Briar would only be at like maybe 101 or 102 CR. I don't know, it doesn't actually really matter, but I'm panicking about nothing, essentially. <laughs> Oh, where's my crit damage? Anyways, I think- wait! I didn't consider the fact that I'm like speed tuned wrong for this. And then- wait, oh fuck, I, I, I forgot about this part. That my Briar is like speed tuned to cut in between here. Um, uh, well shit. Wait, that's actually kind of bad. Because the winter will cut- wait, no, my Kisei is stealth though, so it, it's okay? Oh wait, sure. Oh fuck. How, why am I doing this? <laughs> my win rate? Uh... I mean, I think it's fine to press S3. Uh, it might knock the Aiden below half, but since my Kisei is stealth, I'm pretty sure between the damage from the S3 and the Kisei S2, It'll even kill death buff if I don't land unbuffable. And I'll also be pretty much guaranteed to kill the winter, which is good. So yeah, definitely press S3 is correct.
Yeah, I mean, this is fine. This is fine still, because this this kills winter, and then uh, this should kill the. I'm still oh, almost. This should kill though. Uh, okay. I don't recommend. <laughs> Wait, that was that was like a little bit too threading the needle with the speed tuning there. Uh, I will admit, but it won. Uh, so that's all that really counts at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. I mean, they actually had a high ER on there. Uh, you know. Well, I guess it could have done fifteen percent, and also, I mean, just like a hundred, and then it's like, like one twenty, and then it's only like a sixty percent chance to land the bus. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, I feel like we could have gone a little bit worse. Uh, but it didn't go a little bit worse, so it's okay. Anyways, anyways, onto maybe just another tower or something here. I don't know. Okay, I have found the tower of my destiny to down, and it is this one, uh, Sun 337. Now, uh, round one is, I mean, it looks like pretty free rocket punch. Everything is pretty free rocket punch if you uh, don't think, actually, even if you do think about it, everything is generally pretty free rocket punch. Uh, anyways, uh, I mean, it just plays out pretty normally. Kill Zia, kill the Senya, and kill the Karina. Lots of murder going on here. Uh, I mean, it, maybe kill the Karina before killing the, uh, like, what's her face? Uh, Senya, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. It shouldn't really matter too much. I don't think they're going to be able to, uh, outdamage my team. Although, technically only the Karina's, uh, on the fighter Maya here, but, I mean, it should be fine still, right? Like, I mean, only the Karina is forced to go on the fighter Maya, but, like, if the Senya starts hitting other people, I don't think I'm gonna be taking too much damage. Like my team's fairly tanky overall, uh, and I think Celestine should be more than enough to outheal. Cause I'll also have the uh, S1 healing and all that stuff going on. But yeah, once Zio's dead, uh, they don't really have like too much sustained damage. Is what I'm getting at here. And for the uh, round two, it's in a Runka comp because this comp is a Runka oval. Uh, now it looks like the. Uh, Aiden and the uh, what's her face Selene are within speed RNG of each other, so I might have to wait a turn to actually S3 somebody. But I mean that should be okay. Um, my Rinka is on attack boots now though, uh, and I don't really feel like switching her back to speed boots. Uh, so this is just what I'm going with. I mean it should be fine. I swip I swat swipped I swap swipped swap I swapped her to tooth, uh, so that she'll have an easier time just killing uh, the Selene though. Because, uh, like, you can't technically S3 one shot the Selene, but you can S1 kill the Selene. Yeah, I've just got my uh, Pylos on uh, POV for just easier tanking. Uh, once she gets stacked up, I can't really die. And then just Montmorency as my Soul Weaver because she has gear and she's a pretty good rod Soul Weaver. Maybe DN's okay too, like, unironically. It's like, wait, what is the downtime? It's like, uh,. Like one or two turns of downtime on this. Or I guess Momo has like zero downtime. Wait, but Dien's faster. And there's anti crit and attack buff. <laughs> Hold up, I'm doing Dien. How much better is Rod? Wait, I'm doing Dien. Fuck this noise. <laughs> but minus 50k to slam Dien. That sounds worthwhile to me. And attack imprint. Wait, there are no downsides to this. None at all. Uh, anyways. Anyways, I mean, this should be good to send in, yeah? Yeah. No need to comp check, smile. Okay. So it's like only a 10k Zia. Ah, the report rounded up to 11k. It was also on book. Uh, oh, very cool. Counter attack stunned their whole team. No. Okay. Counter attack. Make me watch Senya S2 animation. I respect it. Uh, wait. Since she has a barrier, is it better? No, no, no it's not better healing to hit the Senya. Just gonna hit there. All right. Let's see. How much damage does Krina do? Probably like very little. I resisted. It didn't even break the barrier. Uh. 
hit, and then this heals me more than it does damage. It didn't do heal me more than it did the damage, but like it almost did. I think Senya will be S oh, this heal EE Senya as well. Oh wait, this will take a while for wait, counter again. Croc the Krina, very cool. Counter F is pretty good here. Wait, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Because I have to kill Karina and Senya. Hmm. Not very curious. Uh, right. Zia should be dying here though, right? I mean, he's not in execute range though. But I guess maybe to my just general damage. Wait, this is actually gonna take so long though. Uh, oh. Anyways, I'm gonna go for Krina next, but I'm also gonna not make you watch me do it. Ugh. Okay, that did take a while because it was heal EE -E on the uh, Senya. Uh, fortunately, she is kind of squishy. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, Selene is going before the Aiden. Okay, okay, I put this up. Wait, I think I actually don't press any buttons. Wait, no, what if I get anti crit though? Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, it's kind of troll ding. Uh, DN, isn't it? Wait, he doesn't have the... I guess it doesn't matter he doesn't have the uh, barrier rune because my Urinka is slower. That's kind of funny. <laughs> no, nice tech, I guess. Okay, uh, goodbye, Aiden. How much damage? That was a miss, right? 16k. Ah, decent. Okay, and then I'm gonna just S1. Recycling, of course. Okay, it is Dust Devil. Alright, healing. Like, this DN unit's kind of broken. Alright, uh, do I- Wait, I think I go for S1 here, because it can strip the barrier off. Nice. And then Erinka Soulburn kills, surely. Wait, I think it actually does. Yeah, that's why Tooth is so good. Alright. And then I think she has S3 next turn on the arrow wall. Yeah, this is a DN carry for sure. Oh yeah, I think this just kills actually. Wait, what the fuck? Erinka does so much damage. <laughs> With their F song. I think I've, I've tried I've tried the Tooth Arunka and RTI though, and it, it just doesn't work, right? Like nobody lets you pick like that. It's unfortunate. Uh, I actually haven't played RT in a few days. Actually, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was actually gonna try streaming RT more, and then I told people I was gonna try streaming RT more, and I stopped doing it because RTA on a daily basis is actually pretty miserable. Not gonna lie. And also, wait. Uh, okay, okay. Since this one's not in English, uh, what we do for this uh. It's a, a guild message, it's just a random copy pasta from somewhere in the E7 community. And this one was from uh, the Chinese server's backlash against the uh, Smilegate trying to kill their game. And they said, I think this is this translated, The amount of compensation you gave isn't enough for me to revive your mom through alchemy. And even Holy Sacrifice won't revive your mom because she got extincted by Dark Corvus. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of insult is that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, just back to, you know, never losing attack, a a attack and attack in my life uh, business. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed and I shall see you soon.